G'day. Welcome to Emergency Medicine Topics in One Copy. I'm Alan Giles, an emergency physician. Today's topic is going to be interpreting chest x-rays in trauma. Now, first of all, of course, make sure you've got the right patient. This may sound silly, but in a busy emergency department, errors can occur. Next, we're going to use a mnemonic. So the mnemonic is going to be A, B, L, S. A is for adequacy and alignment. B is for bones. L is for lungs. And S is for soft tissue and software. So let's start with A, adequacy and alignment. Is this film adequate? Is it rotated? Now look at the clavicular heads. Are they equidistant from the midline? Next, can you see all the lungs from the apices of the costophrenic angles? And posteriorly, on a good inspiration, you should see 10 ribs. Now, poor inspiration is common in trauma and it will make the lungs appear more radio-opaque. Is it properly penetrated? The vertebral bodies should be well seen around the neck, just seen behind the heart, and not seen through the diaphragm. Now, this chest x-ray is over-penetrated. Okay, let's go on to B for bones. Do a circuit. Check out the right, then the left clavicle, and make sure you also check out the scapulae on both sides. Now the ribs. Trace them all down on both sides. It's very easy to miss a fracture there. And finally, make sure you check out the spinal column. Believe me, crush fractures, even dislocations, have been missed because they just weren't looked for. So that's A and B. Next is, of course, L for lungs. Compare one side to the other, the upper, middle and lower zones. Now if you look at it and there's lots of black, that's going to be air. So in this context it'll be a pneumothorax. White of course is blood. Now the blood's either going to be in the pleural space as a hemothorax or occasionally like this where there's a contusion as in the parenchyma. And finally, we finish with S for soft tissue and software. The big soft tissue is, of course, the heart. Is it being pushed? Is the size okay? Now, go cranially to the mediastinum. Is it widened? If so, it may have some blood there. Can you see a distinct aortic knob? If not, it may well be a traumatic dissection hanging by a thread. Now don't forget the soft tissue of the chest wall. Can you see air in the tissues from a traumatic pneumothorax? Finally, software. ECG leads, as we can see here. Look for endotracheal tubes, nasogastric tubes, chest tubes. Are they all in the right spot? So, A, B, L, S. Doesn't sound too hard to remember. So let's try it out with some examples. Okay, looks like a fair bit happening here. Let's start with A. From an adequacy point of view, is it rotated? Yeah, it is a bit rotated. Penetration's okay, and I can see all the lungs bilaterally. Uh, B, there's a fractured clavicle. What else can we see? Um, I can see fractured ribs posteriorly, at least four, maybe five. The scapulae look okay, and the vertebra look okay. No other fractures I can see. Um, we look at L for lungs, increased whiteness diffusely on the right-hand side and also left base. Um, probably a bit of contusion, maybe a bit of hemothorax. Looks a bit black at the top on the left-hand side. I wonder if it's a pneumothorax. Let's look closely. No, I can't see a pneumothorax. Okay. So let's now look at soft tissue. No air in the soft tissues. Software. Mm. Yeah, there's a central line subclavian on the left-hand side. Okay, let's try another case. Case two. Oh, it looks nasty, doesn't it? Okay, looking at adequacy and alignment, it's a little bit rotated, uh, but I can see the top and bottom of the lungs. Now, in terms of bones, there's a displaced fractured clavicle and some fractures superiorly of the ribs on the right. There might even be a fracture of the scapula on the left. The rest of the bones look okay, including the spinal column. Uh, if we look at the lungs, increased markings, whiteness bilaterally, and we can see a contusion superiorly there. If we look at S, the soft tissue, the heart looks okay, but that mediastinum looks wide, even if you allow for the rotation. And in the soft tissues, you can see some air in the soft tissues greater on the left than the right. Software, 
Well, I can see some ECG clips at the top, but I can also see on the left hand side what looks like they put a dwell cath in. Oh, there's a lot going on. You could imagine that you could miss it. And here on the right hand side, you can see what looks like a small chest tube that's gone in. Okay, certainly worth doing a comprehensive view ABLS on this sort of patient. Okay, the final case. There's a lot going on here. Let's look for A for adequacy and alignment. It's rotated and I can't see the right hemidiaphragm. I wonder if it's ruptured. B, I can't see any fractures. There's a slight scoliosis to the left. L, there's a right hemothorax. The left hemithorax looks okay. S, soft tissue. The heart's pushed across. Mediastinum looks okay. I'm wondering about that bowel, whether it's actually in the right side of the chest. Mm. The subcutaneous soft tissues look okay. Software, there's an ECG lead and oxygen tubing. Okay, a lot going on there. It helps to have a systematic approach. A, B, L, and S. Well, I reckon that'll just about do for interpreting chest x-rays and trauma in one coffee. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.